2017 was supposed to be the year American astronauts headed to the ISS could once again take off from U.S. soil. Alas, the timeline NASA set when it named SpaceX and Boeing as its commercial crew program partners proved a bit too optimistic. The companies needed more time to fine-tune Starliner and Crew Dragon. It's not easy developing new spacecraft after all, especially one that's supposed to be safe enough to take human passengers outside Earth's atmosphere. Low Earth orbit might not be that far from the surface when you consider how vast outer space is, but its harsh environment exposes spacecraft to ultraviolet radiation, extreme temperatures, and small debris traveling fast enough to cause damage. Over the past year, Boeing and SpaceX put their vehicles, which the media calls space taxis, through some pretty rigorous testing. They conducted plenty of drop tests to ensure the capsule's landing systems work and their human passengers won't get injured when they land. They even tweaked their spacecraft design when needed, all under the watchful eye of veteran NASA astronauts assigned to monitor their progress and ensure everything's up to par. While we clearly won't see astronauts take off from U.S. soil before the year ends, Boeing and SpaceX believe their space taxis can finally end NASA's reliance on Russian Soyuz rockets in 2018. In fact, they already showed off their new spacesuits in preparation for the first unmanned and manned flights scheduled to take place next year. The first one to send astronauts to the ISS will have the privilege of retrieving the U.S. flag left there by the last space shuttle crew back in 2011. That flag serves as a promise that the U.S. will be capable of manned missions again someday. While it's a chance for the companies to make history, whoever retrieves that flag might not matter in the grand scheme of things. Rivalries like this tend to give rise to new and improved technologies. The space race between the United States and the Soviet Union led to the innovation of artificial limbs. We all win in the end.